Oh, documentaries, definitely. I mean, I make them. But I do like reality TV as well. You know, it depends where the borderline is. One of my favourite TV programmes, Gogglebox. Masterpiece of telly, that is. Yes, I love being British. Well, you've won the lottery of life, haven't you, really? We live in a very stable, rich, clement, um, safe, law-abiding, democratic, funny, clever, creative country. Yeah, it's fun. I, 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 I enjoy the national conversation. I, I enjoy being part of that. I enjoy the platform it gives me, you know, that I can use. In love's a dangerous phrase, because, you know, it's, it's people who say they fall in love. I don't believe in that, you know, something over time. But of course I'm in love. I love my wife and my family. Oh, I don't want to say. <laughs> Not on the web. <laughs> who was your first love? <laughs> I hate tattoos, God. Piercings? No, likewise. Ever? Never. Ooh, um, how insecure am I? Quite insecure about my work, constantly, but that's really useful. Sing if it. I Were a Boy by um, Beyonce, I think. Can you sing it? To us? If I were a boy, I were da na 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 Can we all sing along to it? If I were a boy, <laughs> That's a good one. Um, Nick, it, it, it's actually the question is favourite actor, but that actor you hate most. <laughs> <laughs> my studio is my hideaway when I'm sad. Do you do your best work when you're sad? No. I don't believe in the kind of miserableist idea that you have to suffer to be an artist. I think happiness is as complex as sadness. Happiness is often met, met, confused with ecstasy. Happiness is bumping along okay. So people, you know, ecstasy is fleeting. Ooh. What was the last thing that made me cry? I think it was that film, Untouchable. That French film about the man in the wheelchair with the, the guy who comes from the, the ghetto to help him. It was real. I watched that the other week. Yeah, good film. Oh, both. I love morning and evening. Like the mi bit in the middle is a bit harsh, particularly for trainers. For what? Man or woman, for what? Just throw out a question. Depends what I'm doing. <laughs> you know, I like men for some things and women for other things. You know, I'm an equal opportunities friend, lover. Not a lover. I mean, it depends for what it's for. That's, you know, it's meaningless, isn't it? Hair. <laughs> Clothes, I mean, you know, what? For what? For a funeral. <laughs> oh my God, there's a long list of turn-ons. Everything, you know, bondage, transvestism, rubber, God knows what, coprophilia, s and but most of the shades of s and M, straight sex, you know, most things turn me on. I have a, I have a, a palette of lusts. About an hour and a half from stubbly biker to what I am now. Bath, definitely a bath, long hot bath. My one of my great pleasures. Turn offs. I think I think vanilla professionalism is the biggest turn off. That sort of corporate the word erotic. That, oh I hate that word. Erotic fiction or erotic imagery. Ugh. You know that sort of cleaned up fifty shades of grey anodyne bollocks. I, would, I think giving is more fun on the whole, because the things I get given on the whole, I don't really want them, they're shit. <laughs> but you know, most of the presents I get given are like the ones that your auntie would choose, you know, they give me all sorts of strange things. I get a lot of books, a lot of chocolate and a lot of booze. I like a dance, it depends what I'm wearing, not in heels. You don't dance in the heels? No, it's not that kind. I like to let rip. Yeah, winning awards is fun. I've won and lost quite a lot, so that I, I, I've been around. I've done, I've, you know, I've been up for quite a few, and I've won a few, and I've lost quite a few. When you've lost, do you think you should have won? No, I always go in. I mean, I'm up for a BAFTA again this year, you know, and I think eh, if the other people win, 
the last person I phoned was a man in the mountain bike shop who'd forgotten to put my new crash helmet in the bag, so I got home and it wasn't there. <laughs> Probably nowadays, texting. I like texting, yeah, because it's more convenient. Depends whose face in the crowd, doesn't it? But if, it, if, it, if, you know, if you're waiting for a loved one to get off the train, you know, and, and you, you sometimes even question your ability to remember what they look like, that's quite an interesting thought. Um, but then if you're just sort of, I, it's nothing like people watching, sitting outside the cafe and watching crowds go by, it's fascinating, you know. Have you always been a pe people watcher? Uh, yeah, I think most of my life I love, I love people watching. So you have to be a people watcher for what you do? Yeah, I'm interested in society and the things that are, I'm not interested in going off to exotic climbs to find unusual things. I'm interested in what's happening right in front of my nose now, for all of us. Oh, a peck, I think. <laughs> Ooh. But even when I'm cycling about London in a dress, you know, you get the occasional builder who'll try to be funny, but it's so easy to ignore them. Like, oh, and last time I was in Seoul, it was probably on the internet, on Twitter, someone having a go at me for some reason. When I was young, yeah, I'd hardly get yeah, Fights with real fights are never like they are on the telly, are they? You know, it's like a couple of slaps and it's all over. I mean, it would be impossible for me to carry on my main career if I were blind. Um, but I do like talking to people, so I'd probably find a way of making that. Maybe do more radio. Well, if your audience could not see your work? I have encountered, I mean, I have encountered, uh, I did a blind session for my show at the BM, and that was very interesting. They wouldn't shut up. Because, of course, the only way they can kind of communicate is by talking, and so they, so they all just chatter away all the time, so you're getting all these kind of... So it's sort of interesting. People always want to touch my work. Nowadays, computer, definitely. I, I think it's fantastic, drawing on the computer. No, I, I tend to use a pen, though. I never use a pencil. I like the def... I, I, I like the commitment. The one thing about the pen is you commit it on the computer, you never commit on the computer. That's the thing about it. Everything is contingent. You can always change it. What next? In my work, I want to go back to being a regular artist, you know, because I've done a lot of big, hugely committed projects over the last few years. I want to just go back and make one piece at a time again, like I used to. Um, in my life, stay healthy and happy, you know. If I was going to, you know, Put questions like this to someone, it would be Paul Whitehouse, the comedian, an actor. Done.